welcome to another exciting episode of KOS. And today I bring you a character that I didn't really think that was so popular before when I used to watch him um, early on. And a character that, that I didn't know was so dangerous until a friend of mine showed me exactly how dangerous he can be. Today I bring you XM Studios, The Lizard. One of Spider-Man's rogue gallery, uh, The Lizard is particularly super unpredictable. Let's bring it back though, let's bring the story back. All right, so early on, and I think this was Spider-Man's renaissance, right? So you have to go to when um, my good friend, Todd McFarlane, uh, took over the book with Spider-Man number one. Um, I didn't know what to make of it at first, and it was like the Torment uh, storyline, but that's when I found out exactly how dangerous this nine foot over one ton character is. The Lizard, Doc Connors. See, for those people that don't know exactly how the Lizard came to be, Doc Connors had lost his arm and he's a scientist and he was trying to uh, figure out how to regrow his arm because you see it happen in the wild all the time with, uh, with reptiles. So he was experimenting with reptile DNA and you know, uh, he didn't have the proper funding or whatever and he injected himself. Um, but the character always seemed lame to me. Always seemed, you know, just like, like not a real threat. And, and how that they would have him on Saturday morning cartoons and stuff like that, it just really didn't resonate with me until I picked up that book with Todd McFarlane. And he was mauling Spider-Man. Uh, he struck real fear because of the things that he was capable of doing. And also the movies with Andrew Garfield that had the lizard in it, um, that Spider-Man movie was so incredible because it showed the sheer brutality of Doc Connors. And it, it allowed you to go into the mind of a primal character that was so bloodthirsty and hell-bent on destruction of humanity because he was void of it and Todd McFarlane brought that across with his beautiful line work uh, and I, I forgot who was inking his work and who was doing the colors but Todd had a, a, a way of doing splash pages and levels of detail that brought across the visceral uh, effects of the lizard and that was my reintroduction into a character that I truly dismissed and realized he was a formidable foe with Spider-Man that much so that he's probably in Spider-Man's top five of his role galleries, uh, most lethal characters. Spider-Man has some really lethal characters. But let's get into the statue. XM Studios accentuates everything about the lizard, you know, from the lab coat to the tatted jeans to the whole lizard look. Um, they keep it classic by going modern as well with the lizard. And they also have a switch out portrait. The switch out portrait comes when in that storyline, he's descending deeper into the whole primal so he starts to lose more and more of his human features and he looks more and more like a lizard so that's how you get that aspect of it i won't be using that head it, it looks more jurassic park to me i'm going to be going with the classic look with the rib uh textures around the face but the teeth work and the tongue is incredibly done the eyes look magnificent as you can see the cape is fully molded cape right so this is not a mixed media cape it's a fully molded cape 
the tail whips around beautifully as an expanded uh, expand, uh, extension of him and it actually is a lethal uh, weapon that he uses to perfection now also his claws XM has gotten his claws down packed if you can see his claws his claws his talons actually stick out pretty far and they will rival Sabretooth I believe for uh, being as lethal as they are because he has them on his feet so you can see the the base the base is truly done this is a very heavy statue the base is done very well because the base is in the sewers so you have the resin where it looks wet the textures is wet and they always do that pretty well like um my Wolverine my uh, weapon X Wolverine looks impeccable but this looks really good it looks disgusting <laughs> it looks withered <laughs> you have it coming out the pipe here and pause and he's uh he's stepping on the uh the base of something here down in the sewers and it kind of dents it a little bit if you can see like the weight that he has on it and you can look at the textures in his chest because you can see a shirt ripped through and his pants is ripped and you can see the scales like like he's a true lizard um i think this is xm's from the spider-man line one of the ones that you need to have because uh, the story being told from this character is very dynamic the the poles of the tail whipping across his body down um you know this is when i felt xm was in their bag like his chest his arms is extended and he's giving you that raw that they're putting that fear into you this statue brings that across very well with the dynamic pose of the arms the wrists is bent that fingers is uh protruding out very well done the color work is incredible because you have a lot of different greens mixed in there with the grays and the blacks you have dark light greens so it's just not one color and then when you get up to the face the face has a blend of olive mixed with leaf green to go down in, as uh, different scalings to show that the mouth would be a little bit lighter than the actual uh, part of his eyes beautiful stuff great work done and I think it's an impeccable statue probably a very underrated statue until you have it in person but this is the part of the video when I'm going to ask you to like, follow, and subscribe, and hit that join button, <laughs> hit that join button. You know what that join button is, and you also heard me hiccup, because why? I have to call. Anyway, <laughs> stick around, see this video in all its glory, make sure you go to ILP, that's uh, lordsofgaming.net, go there and see all the wonderful stuff that we have there, our opinion writers, we also have uh, Last Word with Lord Cognito and Ebontis with Ty Guy Travis. Uh, yeah, Ty Guy Travis is there now. So go check that stuff out because he is a great dude and a, a welcome addition to The Last Word. Also, look at old episodes of Iron Lord Podcast where myself, Lord Cognito, Lord Attic, and Lord Sovereign is where we take your knees weekly. Have to watch the show to understand exactly what that means. But stick around. So you can see the statue in all its glory. This is some great music, and I'm feeling a itch or a little sand in my shoes. Stay collecting.